The progress of my Voxel engine is actually moving at a steady pace. Be sure to check out the previous video if you want to see the previous devlog. Some features that were added were pallet compression, infinite world generation, voxel network architecture, block models, AUG ambience, and water mesh and transparent blocks. We also have added many more features that we'll later discuss in this video. As you can see right now we have fog and the terrain is loading in quite well from the server and we also have memory optimizations I'll explain later in the video. So pallet compression is actually fairly simple but I also find it quite difficult to implement due to the lack of resources. From my previous comparison I had a chunk size of 32 by 32 by 32 and it consumed a about 120 kilobytes each and that is quite a lot so with pallet compression it reduced it down to just 12 kilobytes more than the 15 percent improvement in every voxel engine there is a camera for each player where each player has a render distance inside the render distance is where the terrain gets generated and as the player moves more chunks get generated there is a question whether it exists in this spot and thus a chunk will appear right in front of your camera the more you move around the more chunks will get generated. Putting things into perspective, the appearance can be quite satisfying when you're moving in your voxel engine. And as you can see, the chunks are actually loading in quite nicely. Multiplayer for any voxel engine should be done first. As you can see, the chunks are actually being loaded from the server, sent to the client. And this works really simple by when the client sends the position on where it's at towards the server. The server responds with the radius of chunks network receive buffer. This will hold all the received chunks that is coming from the server at a certain interval. The range itself by whenever the client sends position updates saying, hey, I'm over here, it will reset the range on where back to zero or the default number of chunks you want to send. And as you can see on um, when the player tries to connect to the server, it looks like this. It sends a welcome message to the player. One last cool unique feature that we added towards the engine is water, which is being rendered in a separate mesh. And right now, this is not the permanent texture of the water, but I thought it would be kind of a cool ambience to the world. All right, everyone, that wraps up everything in today's video. Uh, next devlog video, we'll have a lot more content for our engine. I hope you guys enjoy this and I also will have more series of libgdx coming out soon. Be sure to check out the other video of the previous devlog if you guys are interested. All right, have a good one.